So just another quick video showing how you can get a lot of new shaders inside a Virtual DJ, which is one of the visualization options without much work. So, well, if you don't know what the shaders are, the are visualization options. So if I click here now with the shaders selected, I get a shader here. Uh, and that'll can move to the music and can change. You can do lots of stuff. Because if I go into the actual shader settings, you can see I have a few here that comes through the virtual TJ. And um, they can auto change and stuff like that, but you may want more than these few ones. So you can actually download them by going to the shader type uh, URL here and uh, download them one by one, figuring out which one you want, which one to work with virtual TJ, stuff like that. And it's quite a lot of work. But luckily for us, uh, John Howard from the from the Facebook group, very active user there, and a pro virtual DJ user and DJ has done all this work and has agreed to share it with us. So um, that's a great big help. Thank you, John. So how do we get them? Well, turn off virtual DJ here. And it, he has collected them into two zip files, one for the 32-bit version and one for the 64-bit version of Virtual DJ. So, uh, of course, you need to get the one that matches whatever Virtual DJ you're using. So, if you're using both that I do, you need both of them. You can actually use the other one, the opposite one, uh, but then you need to recompile and sometimes re-download them. So, that's not a good idea. Simply get the one that matches. So, if we, for instance, start with the 64-bit version, I go into the zip file, like this. She has a visualization folder here. And that matches the visualization folder uh, inside Virtual DJ's documents library. So if we go into that one, you can see I have a lot of shader files here. So those are all the shader files that will give us different shaders. And they're all ready and compiled and work with Virtual DJ in 64-bit version. We also have an XML file down here at the bottom. I'll get back to that one a little later. So if I didn't go into Virtual DJ here, in the documents, you can say it actually has two plugin folders. One that just says plugins, that's for the 32-bit version, and one that says uh, plugin 64, that's for the 64-bit version. So since we are working with the 64-bit version right now, I'll go into that one. And as I said, it has a visualization uh, subfolder, and in that right now are a few shaders. And those are the default ones you saw before when I started Virtual DJ. So those are fine. Uh, and we're just going to need to add all the other ones. So I simply go back here and grab all of them. And put them right in there. And then it'll actually tell you that some of them already exist. Those are the default ones. And if you want to overwrite them, and there's no need to do that. So we'll just say, no, no, just skip those files. Those are fine. And when, when you open Virtual DJ again, 64-bit version, here, and go into the shader here, you can see there's now a ton of shaders. And they all work with the 64-bit version, just like that. So that's a lot of shaders. Maybe it's a little bit more than you can just put your head around. So luckily, you can divide them into folders if you want to. So if you figure out, like for instance, this one, so, oh, that needs to go into a folder. You can move it to a new folder, give it a name, blah, 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 stuff like that. That's also a lot of work, but John has also done that for us. Thank you, John. So if you want to use John's folder structure, you can get that too. Just a word, a little warning here. If you already have some folders, Inside Virtual DJ, you can't do this thing because it will overwrite your existing folders. But if you don't, like I don't, we just use John's. So I'll shut down Virtual DJ again. I go back to the, uh, the zip file here. And down at the bottom, we have the XML file. And that has the folders in it. Share the lid XML. So I drag that one over here too. And now we say, yes, we do want to replace the one that's in the destination, like that. And now when we over Virtual DJ, you can see all they're all put into subfolders. So this is all the fire ones. 
and all the one that's in space, for instance. Like that. But also some that are actually for special purposes, like St. Patrick's Day. Or Valentine's Day. Or maybe even Christmas. And the cool part is that if you then set it to auto change, like I have here, uh, it'll only auto change within the folder. So you can actually have it go through, for instance, all the Christmas shaders uh, if you play during Christmas. So that's basically it. But uh, just to show you that uh, the 32 bit version also works, we'll really quick do the same with, the, with that version. So here I go back to plugins. Here, just the 2 bit version into visualizations, and you can see the other ones already here. There's also a few other things, but we don't care about that. In this instance will just keep the shader list so we won't use the uh, the folders. But just to show that actual shaders work, I'll grab the 32 bit versions here, take all the shader files, and not the list, not the XML file this time. Just put them over here and add them. And again, no need to override the default ones. We're going to ask that in a second. Skip those. And then when I open Virtual DJ 32-bit version, like this, I also, all of a sudden, have a ton of shaders in here. Oh, sorry. To choose from, and they also all just work in a 32 bit version. And of course, you can add John's folders by copying the, and overwriting with the XML file if you want to, also here in the 32 bit version. So that's it.